Hi YouTube, Tim Huckert here. In this video, we're gonna install the Brave browser on a Chromebook in 2024. The first thing we need to do is enable the Linux development environment. So I'm gonna go down here to my launcher on the left and click on that. And I either wanna search for settings or scroll down and find the icon for settings and then click on that. On the left hand side, we have a bunch of options. I'm gonna go down to the bottom where it says about Chrome OS and click on that. And down here, we should have the Linux development environment. If you have an older Chromebook, maybe older than 2019, you might not actually have this. Um, but if you do have a modern uh, Chromebook, you should have it, especially with an AMD or Intel-based Chromebook. I don't have an ARM-based Chromebook like a MediaTek processor, so I can't speak to whether this will work for that. I'm going to go over here and click Setup. And then a Setup Wizard will pop up. I'll click Next, and it's going to give you your you a username which I believe is based off of your email and a recommended disk size. If you want to change the username I would change that now. Uh, the disk size can easily be changed later or now with the slider here. I'm going to stick with recommended, uh, the recommended defaults and click install. That's going to take a few minutes to go ahead and install so I'll come on back once that's done. Once the Linux development environment is installed a terminal will pop up. At this point, you can close out your settings. I'm going to expand this terminal here and increase the font size. The first thing we want to do is make sure everything's up to date. And we can do that by typing in sudo apt update, and then two ampersands sudo apt upgrade with a dash y flag. That'll just answer yes to any additional space that the upgrade will take. I'll let that run on through, and I'll come on back. Okay, once that's run through, let's just minimize this terminal for a moment because we'll need it in a moment. And I'm gonna open up a browser and type uh, Brave browser in the search. Click on that and we'll see we have this brave.com uh, show up and under that it says Linux. I'm gonna click on Linux and we have uh, release channel information. So we're gonna go for that for Debian, Ubuntu, and Mint. So first thing we wanna make sure curl is installed so we can Install that by typing sudo apt install curl. And it's already installed, so we're good there. And then what we can do is we can copy this command here. So I'm going to control C to copy it, control shift V to paste it in. So control shift V, hit enter. Okay. Let's go and do the next command. Again, control C to copy and control shift V to paste. There we go. And then we want to do an update, so we want to do sudo apt update. Okay, everything's up to date. And then we'll do sudo apt install brave dash browser. Hit enter. It's going to take an extra 417 megabytes of space. I'm going to say yes, hit enter, and let that run on through. Okay, once that's run on through, we can close out the terminal here. If we go back to our launcher, and let's close out that browser, we go back to our launcher here and click on that and we scroll on down to our Linux apps, we see we have the icon for the Brave browser. We can right click and pin it to the shelf and then click to open. Okay, and there we go. We have the Brave browser installed. You can begin to set it up and set it as your default browser, do whatever you want with it. Um, actually, it's gonna be the Linux browser, so that might not work on this one, but you can go ahead and start using the Brave browser Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. And I want to thank you for watching.